Johnny, what do you use as um, documentation to manage your documentations on your GitHub projects? Well, usually I just start off with a simple readme. I like the Fair the, the simplicity uh, of a simple readme. It's also very accessible right on the documentation page. Of course, the bigger your project becomes, then you should think about a different documentation solution. And so far, I've only used the uh, DocuSoros okay. uh, version one once. So you can build some stuff with React. It's pretty cool. Are you excited about version two? Sebastian uh, uh, Lorbert actually uh, now work as a consultant for Facebook and is working is working on the DocuSoros and they released live on reactnative.dev version 2, the documentation of React Native with uh, version 2. So it seems like it has um, the nice improvement that now you can ha you can use MDX. Yes. So React components. That's a huge Inside one. Markdown for your documentation. And for us, the React ecosystem seems really useful. Yeah. One of the features also I was mentioned is uh, search through Agoria, which I guess should... Uh, yield a better search results for the documentation. I It's interesting because the fact I looked at for the Redash library at different documentation systems and I looked at the at uh, DocuSerious and I was like, oh, if Facebook is using it, should be good enough for me. And then it felt a bit, uh, I don't know, not outdated, but it didn't look so hot. But it's interesting because now knowing that uh, Sebastian Lorber is on top of it and is working uh, for Facebook on this project. It gives me like total confidence that uh, this is going to the right direction. That's great to hear that um, they they have hired him to to work on DocuSaurus. And well, I think if a project is only used Facebook internally, it's built in a very specific way that is not um, that accessible for us. But once it becomes a community project and invites outside collaborators and I'm sure Sebastian uh, brings in a, a a perspective that is uh, not like the, the goal of uh, making all the Facebook products work uh, it should really help all of us yeah I, I completely agree I think it's very smart actually from from Facebook to have someone actually external to do uh, some work for the the community can be can bring a, f a fresh perspective and um, yeah I, I guess now if I were to use a documentation system I would I would definitely use uh, DocuSaurus. I see. So you're currently still using I think Gitbook is it for yeah Redash. So are you gonna rewrite? Let's see. Originally I um we I. Uh, I only have so many things to do. <laughs> um, originally, I used uh, DocZ, which is based on uh, Gatsby. And I was pretty happy with it. But So actually, that's one thing also which you don't have in the Facebook React documentation or React Native documentation, is that you want your documentation to be in sync with your code, with versioning. And so you would want it to have it on the same repo. But this is actually pretty... Uh, difficult to achieve. So I had DocZ uh, as a mono repo in the rep but actually this mono repo stuff can be hell for <laughs> no reasons because here it's like you know two packages that don't share any dependencies together. So it was kind of uh, weird. Uh, also you could plug in the Agoria search but I'm not really good with Gatsby and I couldn't figure it out. So then I used Gitbook. The Gitbook is pretty good. The downside is that it's completely proprietary. So that's why uh, I would say it's pretty risky to, to use it, but it's very good. And because I have uh, two-way syncs, so I can go on gitbook.com and edit my documentation, and it syncs the Markdown file in the GitHub repository. And then I can change stuff in the GitHub repository, and it will automatically deploy to Gitbook. So there's two-way sync. The problem with this is because 
there is this two-way sync, it doesn't, uh, you need to have your branches unprotected. So you need to have Gitbook oh. be able to commit to master directly. And therefore, because of it, I had to create a different repo because, uh, you know, I cannot have my, the Redash repo to be unprotected, the master branch. So the only downside is that they live in two uh, different repositories, which is also the case in the React Native uh, Facebook documentation. But you would think by now it's 2020, this should be a solved problem, documentation, but it's not. <laughs> no, it's actually very tricky and a uh, lot of players, a lot of choices. Are there like documentation framework wars, like DocuSaurus versus Docs, I wonder? Interestingly enough, the Gatsby website has an amazing documentation. Are, are also a lot of custom, I guess. I'm not sure what they're using. I mean, it's Gatsby, but <laughs> uh, if it's, you know, made internally or... I feel like also a lot of prog documentations that seem to be actually custom, like made, made by hand, right? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, if you for your library, then also make your own documentation system. Um, that's probably going to take a big portion of your time as well. Maybe you should consider going back to just a simple readme. <laughs> right, yes. 